So if you haven't done so already, should you still upgrade to Windows 11 in 2023? Well, in a word, yes, but don't just take my word for it. Creative extraordinaire Tom Quayle, a content creator that uses Scan3XS systems, shares some of his favorite Windows 11 features that he finds most helpful. When juggling his multiple roles and helps him to increase productivity, not only for content creation, but also music production and even his gaming experience, starting with snap layouts. When you're using your PC for such a wide range of different tasks in your day-to-day -day life, great multitasking is essential. And in Windows 11, multitasking has been taken to the next level by snap layouts. Hovering the mouse over the maximize icon on any open window allows you to see and select from all of the available snap layouts. This allows you to really quickly and efficiently place any windows that you require for your workflow in the layout that works best. These layouts can then be adjusted and tailored to your requirements. And once you've set up the particular layout that you need, all of those open apps are stored within a snap group. Snap groupings are super powerful for multitasking in that once apps are grouped together, they can be minimized and maximized all at the same time, allowing you to swiftly and efficiently move between different groups of apps depending on what you're working on. I use this all the time for gaming where I've got all my different gaming libraries open at the same time using snap layouts. Another great example for me that enhances my workflow is if I'm writing reviews, I'll have the product information in a browser on the left hand side. I'll have Word open in the middle where I'm writing my actual review. And on the right hand side, I've snapped the product review video that I shot that enables me to make sure that I'm referencing all the right material I need to write the best review I possibly can. In the studio here, we all love the snap layouts too. For me personally, this is really useful for when I'm doing things like voiceovers where I can have the scripts open, maybe another document with edit notes on while still monitoring my levels and audio input. And the studio team really benefit from this feature when we have to have a lot of windows and apps open at the same time, say for video editing, writing scripts and communicating on Teams. And of course, you get Microsoft Teams integration in Windows 11. Another handy feature is virtual desktops. As somebody who uses my PC for such a wide range of different tasks, one of my favorite features about Windows 11 is the updates made to virtual desktops. These were always available in Windows 10, but the feature is now easier to access, more streamlined and more customizable, allowing you to rename your virtual desktops and change the backgrounds for each one in order to differentiate easily between them. The order of your desktops can now be changed by left clicking and dragging from left to right on each desktop, or by right clicking on your chosen desktop and using the move left or move right commands. In my case, I have multiple desktops set up for gaming, for video production, audio production, for general computing tasks, social media, and also a dedicated mixer desktop for my audio interface. Switching between your virtual desktops is incredibly straightforward by simply hovering over the task view icon in the taskbar. This will show you the available virtual desktops on your system. Simply click on one to change to that desktop. Clicking on the task view icon will allow you to see all of the available windows on each of your virtual desktops. And of course, you can always use the standard Windows key commands to switch between any of the available apps or any of your virtual desktops in the same way you could in Windows 10. This new slicker approach to virtual desktops within Windows 11 gives you the multi-monitor experience without having to dedicate cost or space to an actual multi-monitor setup. And there's also a number of visual upgrades that assist with productivity, as Tom explains. The visual upgrades to Windows 11 are definitely appealing to me. The new icon designs, transparencies, the rounded windows, and the fact that dark mode is now integrated better throughout the operating system is a huge bonus for me in terms of the visual appeal. I'm also a huge fan of the new start menu design being centralized in the middle of the taskbar. I think this looks great and it offers me really easy, efficient access to any of my apps wherever my mouse might be on the screen. I've also found the new pinned apps feature of the start menu really, really useful. This allows me to curate the apps that appear as soon as I hit the start menu. Instead of seeing everything on my system and having to scroll through, I can now see only the apps that I want to see with a larger number of apps than on the taskbar, but it's still curated enough that I can just see the apps that I use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Another visual and efficiency upgrade that happened with Windows 11 that I really appreciate is the new settings app. Getting to and finding the settings that you need for setting up your system and changing any preferences that you might need is now become very, very straightforward and much more easy to navigate. A great example of this for me would be the new sound settings. As a musician and video producer, I have a lot of different audio devices plugged into my system. In Windows 10, 
It was really difficult to see all those devices in a single location. I'd have to click on a disclosure menu to see them and select between them. In Windows 11, now I don't have to go through a bunch of different drop-down menus and esoteric settings pages. It's really easy to see all the inputs and outputs for each of the devices on my system, be able to select between them. These enhancements to the settings app go across the board for me, whether it's adding Bluetooth devices, changing network settings, working with multiple displays. It's all a lot easier to access now, much easier to find what you need, and much more efficient and pleasurable to work with. I've also found myself really appreciating some of the smaller upgrades to the inbuilt apps within Windows 11. Microsoft's to-do app now integrates beautifully with the widgets function within Windows 11, allowing me to really quickly and easily access my to-do list for the day, the month, whatever I need to do for that particular work session. And it's not just all about content creation and efficiency. Gamers will also benefit from changes that Windows 11 have incorporated. As an avid gamer, I also really, really appreciate the gaming features within Windows 11. We've got enhancements to Auto HDR and Direct Storage, ensuring that I'm getting the best image quality from my display, and also games are loading as fast as possible. All in all, as somebody who uses their PC for such a wide range of different tasks, I can confidently say that upgrading to Windows 11 has been a very positive step for me. If you're still running Windows 10 and you've been on the fence about upgrading to Windows 11, I can definitely say that now is a great time to make that leap. It's a fantastic operating system that's given me some great productivity, efficiency, and gaming benefits as well, allowing me to do all of these different tasks on a single PC in what I consider to be the best way I've ever been able to do that. The latest version of Windows 11 should appeal to a wide range of users and of course comes pre-installed on all 3XS systems. You can check out the range by clicking the link below. And if you want to check if you can upgrade for free and watch a step-by-step -step guide on how to install it, then check out the links video which will give you a walkthrough. Or of course you can get your copy of Windows 11 by visiting scan.co.uk.